We are here. It's time, baby. <laughs> it is time. It is finally, finally here. It is training camp season. Oh my God, man. I can't explain to y'all how happy I am <laughs> right now. I mean, man, I've been thirsting so much for Pistons basketball. I want to see this team so bad. And with us adding, you know, Bogdanovich, man, it just made it even, it just made my interest even higher. Like, I am literally oozing full of Pistons, Pistons spirit right now, to be honest. Um, man, training camp, we here. It's going to be some battles. I can't wait to cover it. I can't wait to give you guys the updates on what's currently going on in camp, man. I got my back, my back door guys that can give me some information, um, you know, that you can't really find in those, those stories that's written. So <laughs> hopefully my sources do what they do this uh, training camp and I can give you guys a real good look. I wish the Pistons, I wish the NBA had something like the NFL where you can go out to train the camp man and watch, but that's not the case. So you got to go through the back door and that's just what I'm going to have to do. Um, but we got some interesting battles coming up in training camp. Obviously, um, at the guard spots, will Jaden Ivey take that role and secure it as shooting guard, um, you know, to start the season? What will we get out of, you know, Duran? What will we get out of Isaiah Stewart? Who's going to be playing the four? So many questions that got to be answered, man. You rung in by Nadovich, you, uh, you probably end up, you know, playing him at the four if you don't go with Isaiah Stewart, obviously. But, you know, that that's yet to be answered. <laughs> so, first and foremost, let's take an opportunity right now. I want to say happy related birthday uh, to Kay Cunningham, to Mr. Chauncey Billups, Mr. Big Shot. Birthdays just passed. Uh, shout out to Jaden Ivy, man, for singing happy birthday. That was hilarious. But, yeah, happy birthday to those, those two uh, gentlemen, man. You know, like I said, man, it's so much, so many high hopes with this team. I, I, man, this fan base better get behind this squad this season. I know everybody needs to at least try to get to one game that's in this area. At least try to get to one game this season. Out of 82 games, at least give me one. So, you know, with that said, man, my expectations for the season, I mean, let's just start with, with numero uno, K. Cunningham. I expect him to take that leap forward this season. I expect him to shoot a lot better this season. Uh, transform his body. So I expect him to be more of that, you know, polarizing figure out there. <clears throat> I know that the, the young the young dog is, man, he, he works, man. He put that work in. You know, quietly, he puts that work in. You know, you don't get a bunch of videos on Instagram and all of that stuff of Kane doing this and that and the third. That man puts work in while everyone's sleeping. That's where that slogan comes from. Shout out to Ashton, the trainer. But that's where that slogan comes from. Work while they sleep. So he's going to put that work in. And he's going to demand respect this season. That's why I always tweet out and say, Quiet Storm. Because I don't think, you know, some of this league realize what they got coming. <laughs> they, they got something coming, man. And, and when that storm hit, they ain't going to be ready for it. They are not going to be ready for it, man. On top of the, the great job that Troy Weaver is doing, adding the prominent pieces that we need, man, my expectations are going through the roof right now. Um, Sadiq Bay, I expect to be a little bit both of his first two seasons. I expect him to be the best of both of those two seasons. You know, the first season with the shooting in the second season, we're getting to the basket and the free throw line. I think we see a combination of the both this season. I'm looking forward to that. 
Sadiq Bay. I always shout it out on Twitter and on social media. Y'all forgetting about Sadiq Bay. Y'all forgetting about Sadiq Bay. What this man does in the offseason, man, and his focus, his work ethic. Y'all gonna be in for a nice surprise this season from Sadiq Bay, man. Him and Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes, those three, that class. I think they all are going to show something this season, man. Killian Hayes has been putting in some, some work all summer. He's been here um, working in, in Florida. You know, that's where uh, Killian Hayes was <clears throat> born. So he's been working in Florida, man. Got a lot of connections in Florida. Um, but he's also been with the team. You know what I'm saying? So that's big for him. He needs to play with that type of, you know, those type of players, man. He needs to play with those. He needs to be that, uh, be Americanized. So, um, it's gonna be big time for him. This is this is go season. This is this is the season for him. It's just like with the Detroit Lions and Jeff Okuda, when everybody was, you know, doing what they was doing with Jeff Okuda. Now look at him, biting their words. Jeff Okuda is playing out of his mind right now. Um, and it's just development. It's just a course of development. You just have to be patient, man. Every player is not gonna walk in the door with it. They just not. And from where he comes from, he definitely ain't gonna walk in the door with it. This dude was over there winning stuff at 16 to 17. You know, that speaks to the competition level. You know what I'm saying? So we are the Mecca of basketball. You know, this is the US, this is it. So our playgrounds ain't the same. So you get a different type of animal, a different type of dog from these players that's coming from college here in the U.S. It's different, it's total different. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, Marvin Bagley is another player that some people are not talking about. And he's been working on his shooting. And I'm looking forward to that too. Because if Mar Marvin Bagley can cons consistently stretch the floor, it's going to be a problem. We all know he's a live threat. We all know what he can do when he's around that rim. Um, but increasing his shooting ability would make him lethal. It would make him lethal. So that's another thing to watch for. Um, you know, and then you have other players in between. Hamadou Diallo is probably going to be fighting for uh, playing time and minutes this season. Um, Isaiah Livers. <laughs> Isaiah Livers. I think he's going to continue to prove that he's going to be one of the steals of that draft class. And, you know, he has so much potential. And all of these, all these guys are workers, man. They are workers. He's been putting hella work in. Hella work in, man. Y'all know the background. Y'all know where he come from. Go blue, baby. <laughs> Y'all know where he come from. Um, man, the, the the kid puts in work. And I expect to see some results from that. Y'all seen what he did with his short... <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Clear my throat. Um, with his short uh, period of time of being able to come in and fit right in like a glove, man. At, at, as a rookie. That ain't easy, man. That is not easy. You'd have missed all of that time and now you just walk in the door and here I am. You know what I'm saying? That's not easy to do. So with this young team, they're going to have to play. They're going to have to play. I'm giving y'all the same conversation I gave Lions fans before this season. They wig it out right now because Lions lost yesterday. So listen, they're going to have growing pain. That's it's just what's going to happen. Y'all got to accept that. Whether we make the play. <coughs> excuse me. Whether we make the play in or not. Y'all got to expect that. Like I said, very young team. Guys got to take steps forward. Guys needs, uh, needs reps out there. They got to build chemistry. You got a lot of new faces on this team. This team looked drastically different. You know what I'm saying? So... All of that you have to put into place. And we we play in a tough, tough conference in the East. The East over the last two years has been, you know, has become a, a beast. So 
With that said, I don't want y'all to get it in over your head and start creating all these uh, expectations, man. Y'all gotta be realistic. Be realistic, man. My voice is hoarse. I just did a lot of yelling in this Lions video I just did, so. <coughs> there it is. Got it now. Uh, <laughs> but, y'all gotta have them expectations, man. Realistically, you cannot go out here and say, uh, man, we just gonna, you know, make the playoffs off bat like that. That's not how it works in this league, man, especially in the conference we in. So we gotta have a little bit more patience and let these uh let these guys get reps, man, and get used to each other. So with that said, man, let me know in the comment section what you're excited about, who you expect to take a step forward this season. Who's that guy? Who's your your player that you just like, man? I think he's gonna have a hell of a season this season. And I think he's gonna prove a lot of people wrong. Or I just think he's just gonna be good. So with that said, I have arrived at my destination and um, I'll see you guys later this week. Peace.